How do you make a ping pong ball shooter using Bernoulli's principle? I'm so glad you asked. This is what you're gonna need. High powered leaf blower. You might wanna try this. See, there's no predictability, really. You can't shoot it with any type of force, and that's what we want. So that's why you're gonna need to make a trip to the PVC aisle. All right, it's like a plumbing experiment. So watch what I did here. I simply took the leaf blower out of the box, because I'm buying it, and started fitting pieces together to make something that looks like this. So watch, fast moving air comes out here, but if Bernoulli's principle is in play, then this should be an area of low pressure, which means I should be able to just drop the ball here and it might take off. Here, let's take a look and see. Bam! I got you. Boom! As you can see, there's absolutely no uh, way to be able to uh, load this fast enough, so that's why you're gonna need a piece of plastic pipe. I'm gonna put the plastic pipe in here, but instead of loading them in this way, watch what we're gonna do. To prove Bernoulli's principle, we're now gonna turn it over and see if we can vacuum these up. Watch. Get the idea? This is perfect. However, take a look at this. If we get rid of this tube, and we use this tube, this, is gonna give us some more force. Let's see if that's true. Boom! Got it. And we're gonna need a way to hold a lot of ping pong balls. That's why you need this big plastic tube that you can find at the hardware store. Now normally it's where they sell lights, like fluorescent lights. It holds a ping pong ball perfectly. In fact, it holds 60 ping pong balls perfectly. And it fits into the top like this. Perfect. All you have to do now is pull the pin. These fall in, and I think you got a pretty good launcher. Watch this. <laughs> 